Is Lolita fashion dying? Is it already dead? Is it time for us to all throw in the towel and sell off our pieces and make leaving Lolita posts and just quit? I don't even think this dress qualifies as Lolita and I'm not even wearing a petticoat. Is it time to leave this subculture in the past? Is this the end of Lolita fashion? No. Then why are you making a video with this title? Are you the desperate for views? You click baby. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this because of a post I saw made by Cotton Candy Feet, and in case you missed it, let me read it to you. I'm under the impression that Lolita fashion is becoming less popular, and a lot of people have been leaving the fashion in the last two years, and there's not a lot of newbies anymore. What do you think about it? I see a lot of people choosing to wear more casual kawaii or princess core. <laughs> That saddens me a little because I may need to change the focus of my shop in the near future since our releases are not as popular as it was before. I think that there are definitely many contributing factors to why you may feel like Lolita fashion is dying. My initial reaction, my immediate response to this was that I feel like the interest is still there but no one can afford it, which is really sad and I feel like can contribute to the fashion dying, but I don't think that it is entirely a reflection of the fashion actually dying. I just think that the economy sucks <laughs> and Lolita fashion is not an essential thing. And I've made videos talking about this before, and I don't know what else to do to help independent companies other than what I've always done, which is just promoting people to not shop fast fashion to kind of change their mindset about hoarding and over consuming and getting a lot of things that they don't need and instead like shifting their focus to these specific things that they really want and investing in these smaller brands and i've made videos talking about this before if you want to know more about that and this video is not to like call out cotton candy feet i'm talking about this because they asked for opinions in their post and I'm just gonna roll with it. Thank you for the video topic idea. I fully sympathize for them and I feel awful and I understand that a lot of us feel this way too with Violet Fane closing and Lady Sloth announcing that they will no longer be making Lolita fashion and Angelic Forest closing their shop too due to illness. I definitely think that we need to support these brands whenever it is possible and do whatever we can to help share them, to help financially support them. I'm talking about all of these brands that are closing, but I want to make a huge shout out to the Lolita Collective who has recently opened a physical location, which is incredible which to me that just sounds so scary but i know that they are a great group they know what they're doing they're strong but i just please urge you if there's any way for you to visit them if there's any way for you to support them please please do because it's so great to have that visibility, to have that accessibility for the fashion. Lolita fashion kind of had its peak or grew a lot and was extremely popular from the 2000s to the 2010s. And so naturally a lot of people that started wearing it during that time would just move on eventually, considering it's been 10 to 20 years. And I, talk about this a little bit in my Why Lolita's Quit video. I don't know that I have the best, most up-to-date sense of local communities and how active they are because I don't participate in my local community anymore. And that's largely because my living situation has changed in the last couple of years. I no longer live in Toronto and I live between two places that are like two hours apart and one of them where I am now is extremely remote so I don't believe there are any lolitas here but I do get my sense of community from going to conventions from being online and I feel personally that there is still a lot of activity I know that my 
Assessment may be skewed because I constantly see new Lolitas because when people are looking for information, they find me. So it's hard for me to say how <laughs> the rest of the community feels. And I know that in Toronto, I've heard that a lot of the people who are participating are new Lolitas and some of the older ones don't really participate as much in the community or they kind of do things on their own. It's sort of this natural progression where a lot of Lolitas will host events, go to meetups and such, and then they'll make their friends and then they'll sort of stop. Is good and bad because there's always going to be new people who want to meet people and then there aren't the people hosting the events. But we definitely need to appreciate our local communities and online communities, people who are continuing to organize these things, to do outreach to new Lolitas who are keeping up the moderation of things because I feel like that is often a thankless job and I see a lot of people making really petty complaints about meetups, about events, when we should really just be grateful that they exist. I'm going to address this particular topic much deeper in a video in the future that I'm working on right now, but just appreciate your mods, appreciate your local community, appreciate the people that put in the work. I think that every Lolita has to sort of assess what they want out of the community as well. Maybe you do want to go to monthly meets, maybe you want to wear Lolita fashion on your own and you just want to appreciate it through the internet, maybe you just want to wear it occasionally to conventions and meetups like once or twice a year and that's something important for everyone to really establish with themselves. Even if your local community isn't active, even if you don't participate in your local community, it doesn't mean that Lolita is dead. It doesn't mean that you're killing the fashion <laughs> by not participating. So it's sort of interesting because I feel like the fashion still exists. It still lives even in spaces where we may not see it because it's possible that there's a lone Lolita out in the wilderness who doesn't have a local community who may not be posting on the internet. Currently, I've noticed a massive dip in my YouTube views, but I don't think that this is a Lolita thing. In fact, I know it's not. It's a YouTube thing because everyone I watch has also experienced a big difference in views. Actually, when I wrote this video, it was a lot worse than I feel like it has been in the last week. I feel like it's already starting to improve. And unfortunately, this is just sort of a reoccurring thing that happens on YouTube. They change the algorithms, they change the way things work, and everybody kind of suffers for a little bit, and it's all out of whack, and then comes back, hopefully, to normal or better than it was. But what happened was YouTube changed the way their homepage layout is, and the videos that they decide to share there for you, and it was definitely hurting me recently, both as a creator and as a viewer. YouTube was moving towards getting you to watch shorts, and they were also moving towards promoting new channels. So they would put a lot of things on your homepage that are brand new to you, hoping that you would discover things that way. And then if you weren't, that you would be distracted by shorts and start to watch shorts. I'm not against this idea. I think it is good to promote newer channels, but I do think that they have to find more of a balance to promote channels that are within the niche that you're interested in. Because I've looked at my homepage a lot and just seen nothing that I'm interested in watching. You might be wondering why I'm so calm talking about this, like why talking about a drop in views isn't devastating, doesn't have me crying, sobbing, throwing up. And it's because I've been through this all before. Time and time again, YouTube is just very unreliable. The only reason that I'm able to keep making Lolita fashion videos on YouTube is thanks to the support of my patrons and sponsors, which I am so incredibly grateful for. I think that I don't say it enough. And you know what else I don't say enough is subscribe. <laughs> I hate, I hate it. I hate asking people to subscribe, but now YouTube has a thing where when I say subscribe, it lights up the button 
And studies show that it's good to actually ask because a lot of people do just watch people and don't realize that they're not subscribed to them and it does help us out. But I didn't want this to be a video about YouTube. If you want to know more information about this weird shift that recently happened, I will link a video that explains it. And I do feel like within the last week or two, it's been getting better because I've been seeing more things on my homepage that are from familiar faces, that are from people I watch, and things that are also new to me but are still interesting in the topics that I want to see. The same way that YouTube is always going in this wave, <laughs> in this roller coaster of, you know, views tanking, doing well, people's interest, sharing stuff, Lolita fashion is the same. Lolita fashion is always dying. There are always people losing interest in it. And then maybe later they'll become nostalgic and they'll want to come back or a brand will release something that will pull them back in, or someone will try out a different sub-style that will create interest among people that will also bring them back in. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with people where they express that they're leaving Lolita, they're quitting, they're selling all of it, they're done for whatever reason, and then a year or two later, they're excited and embarrassed to tell me that they've bought a new dress, that they've discovered a new brand that pulled them back in. And I don't think that there should be shame in that. You don't have to leave. You can just take a break or you can leave and you can always come back. But I do feel like it's really annoying when you sell off your whole wardrobe to then have to recollect it. So I think maybe just if you can set it aside. I suspect that a lot of people are feeling this sense of Lolita dying right now because there was such a Lolita boom in 2020. There were so many people discovering the fashion, getting into it, participating in it because they had more time, they were at home, they had in some cases extra money to spend, and then now people are getting back to their lives, other people are having to make adjustments in their life. But there are articles dating back to 2011 claiming that Lolita fashion is dying or is dead. I think that it started in Japan with there being less of a Lolita presence in spaces like Harajuku where they were moving into more casual styles and there was this sense that Lolita was dying because it wasn't being seen in Japan, but then it was actually growing a lot overseas. There was the end of the publications Kara and GLB. People thought that Lolita fashion was dying then because these magazines weren't coming out. And then Hanuli closed and people thought that Lolita fashion was dying then and other brands closed. I meant to say this and I fully skipped it somehow, but Hanuli is back after four years of being closed and this fact gives me so much hope for the future of Lolita fashion that a brand could fully stop and then re-emerge. And I personally just love Hanuli and it makes me so incredibly happy and grateful to see her releasing pieces again. I don't think that Lolita fashion is dying. I don't think that's going to fully die. I don't think that it's dead. But I do think that we are on kind of a slope downward right now and that at some point we will go back up. I do worry for Lolita based brands and I don't know what advice to give because I am not a business major. I know for cotton candy feet their products are definitely interesting to a lot of other genres as well as Lolita fashion, like Himekaji, and even just like cute pastel fashion that might not be based in J fashion. I don't know what to call it, like the Western cutesy fashion, like selkie dress styles. I guess that might be princess core. <laughs> and I hope that that can really help them stay afloat and that they can reach a larger audience. And I understand that other brands like Lady Sloth might be releasing pieces that are for a wider audience as well. And I hope that we just continue to keep sharing Lolita fashion, keep wearing it the way that we want to and educating your friends, even if people don't wear it, but just knowing about it, just learning about it helps us all. I understand that you might be missing this Lolita presence and feeling like you're the only one, but I wanted to share with you that 
I recently went to KumoriCon, and I did not go to KumoriCon for Lolita fashion. I was not a guest there, I was helping out Ghost Girl Goods. So I didn't wear any Lolita, I wasn't doing anything Lolita. All of the fashion guests who were there were not Lolita, they were more like streetwear and decora, there was candy trap, there was 6% doki doki, no Lolita content. And I still saw so many Lolitas. I was honestly shocked. I didn't expect to see Lolitas there. I understand that Lolitas do often have multiple interests in J fashion, and you can do like a Decora Lolita look. You can mix pieces from these brands into Lolita fashion, but I just wasn't expecting it. And I feel like Lolita fashion within J fashion spaces is still like the most prevalent substyle, and I almost feel badly for people who are into gyaru, who are into decora, because I feel like they're always so overrun with lolitas. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of people who aren't interested in lolita, they get tired of every J Fashion event kind of being Lolita, kind of being overrun by Lolitas. So I definitely think that our presence is still there. The interest is still there. People still want to wear this fashion. They still want to be involved in this community. And I don't think that that will ever fully go away because there's always going to be people who want to keep it alive. But what do I know? I'm just a Lolita here living in the Lolita corner of the internet. So I would love to know what you think. What are your thoughts? Do you feel like Lolita's dying? What do you think is contributing to this kind of like downfall? And how do you think that we can get back up on the incline, get more people involved and keep wearing the fashion? If you wanna support the channel, I have a Patreon where you can have extra content. If you're looking to buy Lolita fashion and you wanna help support the channel, I have an affiliate link with 42 Lolita. It's a really easy to shop website, especially this holiday season when you want to just give a family member or a friend a link, but you don't want to have to teach them about all the intricacies of other Lolita fashion shopping. You can just send them right there, but ask them to use code LovelyLore. <laughs> Until next time, I'll still be here wearing Lolita. This dress qualifies as Lolita, and I'm not even wearing a petticoat. That hurt. <laughs> Evidence to show that the fashion is dying. I feel like I'm explaining this like way too seriously. <laughs> that's that's only anecdotal evidence, and <laughs> oh my gosh, it got dark right at the perfect moment.